doing? Can I get a woo? Wow. Okay, that was great. You know what else is great? Google is empowering developers to use the tools and models that you like best to build amazing apps. First, we'll showcase how you can use Gemini in your IDE of choice, and then how you can bring your model of choice to Google Cloud for your apps. Let's start with our IDE experiences and pretend that we're building a new service that'll be used for our agents to help with budgets. We'll use three popular IDEs that are enabled to use Gemini. First up, have you heard of vibe coding? People are doing a lot of it and more with Windserve, a new and popular IDE with a streamlined experience that focuses on agentic coding. Here, we can chat with Gemini 2.5 Pro to start creating code powered by AI. You can ask something like, build me a Java microservice app with sample services for budgeting. The model will then iterate with you a lot over multiple steps. It might prompt you for commands to run in the terminal and even create some files on your behalf. It's really simple to go from zero to template and continue building from there in Windsurf. Huh. Looks like I'll go to my backup machine because Gem and I got a little tired over here. I want to show you what it built. To get there, I'm going to take the escalator. <laughs> and I'll take the elevator up. OK. Looks like it had a little bit more energy on this side. There you go. You can see how great it is. OK, now let's hop over to Cursor to see how you can start making some specific services using Gemini as the model of choice for coding. Cursor excels in code base analysis and reasoning. So keeping with our budgets example, there's a lot of code here, but this is just a budget controller Java file with an existing controller. Let's say we'd like to add some input validation so we know that everything looks good before we go ahead and process it. Using Cursor's inline option with Gemini as a selected model, we can ask to add input validation and hit Submit. And there we go. You can see the highlighted text that was automatically generated by Gemini. Looks like it's added a few lines in case there's a bad request. And all of this is done right within the existing file, recognizing any differences needed and even adding changes based on the type of entity that you need the validation for. Now, since we're already working in Java, let's see what we can do in IntelliJ and the JetBrains family of IDEs. In IntelliJ, we're connected to Gemini via GitHub Copilot. We're using the same code base. I have my code on the left, and on the right, I've given Copilot some context for different files for my budget controllers. We can go ahead and ask in the chat to add unit tests. And I speak Spanish, so I'm actually going to ask in Spanish. Agrega pruebas unitarias. Let's see. Oh, give it a second. Oh, muy bien, Gemini. OK, looks like it's proposed a new file and maybe some modifications to a current file I have. And once this is completed, I can choose what I would like to accept and input into my code. And the most exciting part is that all of these IDEs now support the Gemini 2.5 family of models out of the box. And these are just three tools, WinServe, Cursor, and IntelliJ and Copilot. But we're enabling devs to use Gemini wherever it suits you best, even in tools like Visual Studio Code, Tab 9, Cognition, and Aider. OK, now let's talk about running models. Now, my favorite model is Gemini, of course. Yours too, right? Right? Yeah. But there are so many great models out there, and some are particularly well-suited for specific tasks or use cases. 
So behold, Vertex AI's model garden. You can connect to some of the most popular models or even bring your own from registries like Hugging Face. Model Garden supports the latest and greatest models across creators, including Llama, Gemma 3, Anthropic, and Mistral. So let's check out the Llama 3.3 model from Meta. It's offered as a service via Model Garden. Here, we can test the model to see what the response looks like by asking something like, what capabilities can you offer for designing renovation budgets? And there we go, there are the results. We can also use the results we get and compare with other models that we may be considering. And we can do this without having to spin up our own infrastructure or pre-allocate expensive GPUs. Or if you decide to deploy this, you can deploy to your own endpoint or a cluster. So let's implement a model from Model Garden in our application code. Here, we're in Visual Studio Code. And in this example, we've been using Claude, and it's great, but our apps run on Google Cloud, and the model's running somewhere else. We want to run our model co-located with our app to minimize latency and get the benefit of a simpler security surface. So with two small code changes, we can use the same Claude 3.7 model from Model Garden. We'll use Anthropic's library, and all we need to do is change how we initialize the model. Here we have the project ID and region instead of API key, and then change the model's actual name. And that's it, then we're done, and we're set up to use the Model Garden version instead. And we can use other models via the Vertex AI SDK to do something similar. We're striving to meet developers where you are. Your team can build great apps using Gemini as your IDE of choice, or you can use Vertex AI Model Garden to call your model of choice. No matter what you use, we're excited to see what you come up with. Gracias.